and we have a very cool episode of Firehouse Kitchen Live today. We have a celebrity <laughs> in our presence, no, no. okay, of this new up and coming show, La Casa del Fuego. Angel, I'm gonna say it right, I think. Robles? Robles. I like Robales. What? I've been saying Robales, I think it's got can more. Can you roll it R? Robles. Robles. Oh, I can do that. That's right. Can I do it by Antonio Banderas voice? You, hey, Daniel, that's what I want you to say. So here we go, here we go. I have Angel Robles. Uh, all right, Angel's from 286, the Myrtle Turtles. Yeah. That's in Glendale, Queens, right? Yeah. Right. That's right. That's it. That's pretty good. And one thing I love about your firehouse is you go up on the roof yep. and you look right at the city. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right at the city. Beautiful sight. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful sight. Um, all right, so what are we making today? All right, so we actually already have our bacon cooking. It's going to be wrapped around a beautiful filet mignon that we have right here. Okay. We as firefighters, we're meat eaters. Okay, naturally. But at the same time, you know, I think it's important to have a little bit of health in there. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have our filet mignon, which is a very healthy cut as well, mm -hmm. with some bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? We just took the help away from them. It's fine. Okay, that's right. Wait, we can call it keto. We can call it keto. <laughs> we can call it keto. <laughs> keto. No carbs. We can, yeah, we can no carbs. We're going to up our, uh, right. our fat intake. Our fat intake, okay. exactly. So we're going to wrap it around here, and we're going to cook it on a nice cast iron pan. It's already smoking. We're going to cook up the bacon just a little before we put we wrap it around the uh, filet mignon. mignon. Uh, actually, a funny story about that was when I was filming Master Chef Latino, uh, I made a bacon wrapped filet mignon. But the instructions that I had given to one of my other teammates mm -hmm. was to cook a little bit of the bacon. Well, the bacon wasn't cooked, so we had to throw it on kind of too raw. Okay. And I don't like overcooked meat. No, no, I like no, medium, yeah. medium rare, you know, so I end up uh, having to put that on and the bacon didn't cook, uh, get crispy enough. Mm -hmm. You know, I love some crispy bacon when I fully cooked all around, so I had some soft bacon that was halfway falling off my meat. I wow. Like, oh. So, of course, that challenge, so that challenge I didn't win. That is Top Chef Latino. No, Master Chef Latino. Master Chef Latino. Master Chef Latino. So, Angel's name dropping right now, you know. When I was on Good Morning America Day with Michael Strahan. With Michael Strahan, yeah. I made a ch No, I'm just kidding. All right, so, <laughs> okay. so, all right, so we need bacon. Right, well, let's see how, how it's doing right now. We're going to give it a little flip right here. This is very good. So, as you guys can see, it doesn't have to be fully cooked, you know. You just want it enough. Then it starts sticking to the pan a little bit on both sides, and then that's it. Okay. Right? Add it a little bit like that. All right, now what you're watching right now is Firehouse Kitchen Live. So how we're going to be doing it now is we're going to be doing this live raw version every Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. And then at 6 o'clock, it's going to get re -pump, re uh, I guess, what would you say, reposted? Reposted. It's going to be edited with our fire safety tips and opening. So everything you're seeing right now, it's not rehearsed. There you go. Okay, this is this is raw. Okay. Raw. All right. Raw, raw. So there we go. Take that on and max another 30, okay. 30 seconds. All right. We'll just turn it off. Okay, and then like I said, we're gonna pair this with something healthy. Uh, we're doing today a traditional Greek salad, which is called a horiatiki salad. Um, a lot of different variations that people have with Greek salads, some with uh, large pieces of romaine lettuce or iceberg lettuce. Uh, it, that's not included in the traditional kind. So today we're just going to make it with some uh, tomatoes, uh, cucumber, uh, all fresh ingredients, olives, some, some Greek Kalamata olives, uh, feta cheese of course. Some know. feta. Uh, feta. We love the Greek Mediterranean right. diet. And we're going to make a nice uh, lado lemon sauce, which is a traditional Greek vinaigrette. Just lemon. Lago lemono. Lago lemon. From Angel Robalo. Yes. Lago lemon. Oh, right? right? And then and then that's it. So let's right, so go ahead and right take, there. take that off, right? We're gonna put that over here. And then tonight, I'm gonna take off. Yeah, take it right off. Yeah, I'm gonna take it right off. Grab two pieces. Right, let's give a shout out to one of our sponsors right now, Resorts World Casino, New York City. Also, of course, Fire News. Alright, so we good. Alright, good. Right. good. Awesome. So we have three, more or less three pieces of semi-cooked uh, bacon. We're gonna grab our filet mignon, all right? Beautiful cut, very nice marbleization. Gonna wrap this around. 
If you can grab me a toothpick, Ray. Toothpick. If there's any toothpicks around. All oh, right, let's see, Gerard, what do we have toothpicks? Or if, or if you got spaghetti. That's our spaghetti. A piece of spaghetti works just fine. You can just jam it in there to bottom shelf. Bottom shelf, here we go. Blue top. Blue top. Okay. Blue top. I see sugar. This is how you know this is really Fly House Kitchen Live. This will be edited out. <laughs> Blue top. All it's right. Like beauty of live TV. See. Oh, hold on. Please work. Oh, America. I tried because we're on Fly House Kitchen. We got some America. That's fine. That'll work. Woo. Just gotta make sure it doesn't touch the pan. Actually, we'll just take it off. Yeah, I'll take this to right. You can okay. just actually break it off. And oh. all I need is a little piece right here. Because it's, 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 it's gonna come Yeah, it's gonna come off. And boom, got that. Awesome. Very nice. All right. Then, put this end here. All right, so what I like to do is first, I'm gonna sear a little bit the bacon. Okay. A nice hot pan. A beautifully hot cast iron pan. Very important, it evenly uh, distributes the heat on whatever you cook. So we're gonna put that in, and you're gonna see right away, you're gonna hear the sizzle. Ooh, a beautiful sizzle. We're gonna give that bacon some extra crispness. You wanna balance it? Yeah. Hey, I'll balance that. You give you give it another side here and here, and then we'll yeah. be we'll be done. Then, these. then uh, while you're doing that, Ooh. I'll get the butter. All right. Sure so do you guys eat this good in 286 all the time? Just about. This would be what, like fifteen dollar meal that all the guys would go bananas on? Yeah, about yeah. fifteen. Unless I decide, I, unless I decide to uh, jack it up a little bit with some extras. Okay. You know, then we're looking at like a twenty dollar meal. <laughs> What's the average meal now? Now we're looking at about ten. Right, when I got on the fire department, it went over five. Guys would go bananas. Yeah. Was, you know, Twenty-two years. If it goes over fifteen now, the guys go. Twenty years ago. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah, this, year, this year would be my twentieth. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, look, bacon looks good. Okay. I'm take that off. Just put it down. Now we're gonna throw in some butter right here. All right. Let that melt. And throw into yeah. pieces. Some garlic, because we love we love our garlic. Let's do it. All right. Hey, if you got any questions, go on, go on Facebook right now. He sends some questions, and we'll answer them. Right. Okay. I'm going to throw in these onions right there. All right. Awesome. That's awesome. Very yeah. good. Bacon is good. Yeah. So I'm going to salt them. I'm going to salt my, uh, my filet mignon very well. Ah, we're going to put the fan on really quick. All right. Let's um, give the house a little bit of a... A little bit of pepper, put it in there. That. Nice. A little bit more salt. A little salt. Look at this cooking right now. That's yeah. beautiful. That's good. Yeah. Now, we're going to immediately yeah. Do a little space. A little space right there. We're going to put in our oh. nice filet mignon. Look at that. That's going to be cooking in there. So, Ray, mm -hmm. you got a job. Good job. Okay, let's uh, get you a towel. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. 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 Remember guys, a little safety tip also, when you're cooking with cast iron, like I said, it, hit, it distributes the heat evenly throughout the entire pan, including the handle. So you want to always grab it with a dry towel, okay? A wet towel transfers heat quicker than, than a dry one. Hello, wait, let's I'm do this right. I'm sorry. Let's do it, hold on, let's do this right. Hi, I'm Fire Fire Red. And today's safety tip is? When cooking with a cast iron pan, remember, it, had, it distributes heat evenly, even through the handle. So always use a dry towel to handle it because a wet towel transfers heat faster than a dry one. Oh, unbelievable. I'm Firefighter Ray and this is Firefighter Angel. And remember, these tips save lives. We did a live safety tip. Live safety that is a first yep. on Firehouse Kitchen. There you go. All right. There you go. Now, Ray, you see what I'm doing? I'm basting this bad boy right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, when I baste it in its own juices and the butter that we just had. So you're gonna just be here basting for a little while. You want me to keep basting? To keep basting and then give it a flip. That's All right, so while we're basting, we'll be right back. Here's a little uh, note from our sponsors. All right, 
So this is live. So that's going to be later, all right, in our you know, edited version. I do that. I right, keep basting. Okay. Yeah. While you're doing that, and it's going to go over the, for the folks at home the ingredients for the salad. Grab our tomatoes. I like to use little cherry tomatoes. Uh, easy. Uh, not a lot of work to cut up. Uh, the juices also. Uh, you know, all the other style tomatoes that might be used, uh, you want to eliminate some of the juice, so you have to go through the cutting process, eliminate the uh, guts of it. Here, we, we're just going to use it all. We're going to throw it all into a nice bowl. That's a big bowl. That's a big bowl. I can do two things. I can baste and hold the bowl at the same time. Right. So we, I just like to have them, you know, just to make them uh, easier bite size. Or you can just leave them whole. This also allows for the condiments and the vinaigrette that we're going to make in a little while to, uh, you know, marinate a little bit better. Oh, look at that angel. I just turned it over. Man, look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. That's beautiful. It's going to come out a nice medium. Uh, I like my meat. No more than medium. All right. A guy at my firehouse actually likes hockey pucks. He eats hockey pucks. That's what I call my sister loves meatballs. <laughs> Not because it tastes like hot, but most of you getting really mad at me right now. But so I always have round meatballs. She makes flat meatballs. I say no like hockey pucks. But they're delicious. We want to say I love your meatballs, you know that. I love your hockey pucks. Right. Another staple in uh, Greek uh, cuisine or Greek salads is your cucumber. I like to use an English cucumber. I give it a nice little design. I'll peel it, give it some stripes and just a simple peel. We'll bring it, boom. And now you have a nice stripe, cut it, right? What I usually do, I make half moons. So we have it. Nice. All right. Oh, we'll throw that in. This is like an unbelievable angel. Awesome, oh, my goodness. Oh, do you have my tasting spoon? So, what we were just talking about before, hockey pucks, for those of you that don't know the terminology, that's what happens when you overcook meat and somebody wants an ultra well done piece of meat, which for me, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. It's like, it's like eating it. be a little red. All right, so we have our cucumber and our tomatoes. Next, we're gonna throw in some olives. Hold on one second, let me just, yeah, oh. There you go. Does it all the time. Okay. Okay. Alright. Got our olives. All right. We got some fresh parsley. We're gonna throw in there. I chop love it. it. Rough chop on it. Doesn't have to be crazy. Alright. I love me some onions. Now you can do these uh, either a fresh red onion, throw it in there. And sometimes I even take my onions in the morning if I'm gonna cook dinner or the night before even, and I put them in a red wine vinegar and I pickle them. That's all you need to do, very simple. Is that what you do in the morning? You know what I do in the morning? What do you do in the morning? I say, just call me Angel. <laughs> in, that's whatever I call him on the cell phone. Oh. I always do it Angel. Yes, yes he, he always leaves me a nice little message down there singing to me, you know, which makes me, makes me feel wanted. You know? yeah. Well, Angel is, of course, uh, Puerto Rican, right? Yeah. Yes, I'm Puerto Rican. Puerto, Puerto Rican. Rican. Yep. And um, Angel's because Angel went to the show La Casa de Fuego the other, the Spanish version of Fire House Kitchen. So I, I called the cell phone yesterday, just to give him the address of where we're, we're, <laughs> we're cooking in. And you know, his, his so says, uh, how you call it, robot, robles? And, uh, and then it goes into a, what do you say in Spanish, Andrew? I say the same thing, only in Spanish. It's like, how you reach my phone, just leave a message after the beat. That's it. Yeah, so I say, uh, I, I say a message, hey Angel, it's Ray, what's going on? We're cooking tomorrow. I didn't understand a thing that was in the second part of this. <laughs> it might as well sound like to me, cuantos and dios tienes That's the only Spanish I know. All right. All right. All right. And I'm going to be producing a Spanish cooking show. This right. looks done. Right. We're done with that. We're going to now let it sit five, ten minutes. Let it rest. That's what we want to do with meat a lot of times. 
let it um, reabsorb its juices and its flavors. So let's get you a plate to put that on. Right, get a plate to put this on. Right. As we're plating this bad boy, let's go. hear from our sponsors, and we'll be right back. We'll put that right there in the meantime. All right, so, so we, get we got a few minutes now. We yep. just clean this up. You want to clean this up? Yeah, we'll get Do that. Do we want to clean this other one? No, we'll, yeah, it was just okay. a show. So we'll just do the one. Okay, that's just the show. Okay. So this is done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, it's hot. Yeah. I, I didn't follow Angel Safety. Nah, I didn't follow oh, my safety tip. There you yeah, go. I'm going to put it in the fan, too. All right. All right. All right. So, so we're done with this burner? We're done with that. Why don't we clean up a little bit so we come back? Okay. So do we need the, what do we need here? So we don't need this bacon anymore. Well, it's half cooked. It's good. <laughs> you know, a buddy of mine uh, is from the military uh, like 15 years ago. We're out. Uh, we buy some bacon, right, for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Go back to the house, start cooking up. All of a sudden, he just comes into the kitchen and grabs a piece of bacon and starts eating, like out of the package. Raw yeah. bacon. Raw bacon. And I was like, dude, what are you doing? And he's like, I love bacon. I love bacon. I don't care if it's cooked or not. I'll eat it in any form. I was like, you're gonna get salmonella. <laughs> so well, it's my mother. My mother chopped meat raw, bacon. My mom used to never. I don't think I've ever chicken raw, no. but um. She did, she did the same? But she never ate chicken raw, but she used to eat meat. Well, she been making hamburger meat mm -hmm. that she eat raw chop. Yeah. Like, I can understand like like a meat, like because you can make like a tartare of some kind, you know, yeah, yeah. like that's done all the time. But, but even a tartare, you heat it up at all when you do the tartare? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm on a cooking show, I met no idea what tartare is. <laughs> tartare. <laughs> tartare is basically uh, chopped up fine raw meat, but it has, it's usually high quality meat, like a filet mignon. Or a, or a nice ribeye that's been okay. like either ground or... Pound. All right, so what don't we need anymore? All right, uh, I mean... Uh, no, no, we can come back. You can take this away, you can put this away to the we'll side. Put this off to the side. Yeah. You just leave this here. So we start putting this out the other way, right? Yeah. We'll, so so this has to go, this is dirty, right? Get rid of this bad boy. Do we need this again? No. Uh, yes, no, I'll bring it back. Bring no, back. That's it. it, that's it, because everything else I already chopped up. You sure? Yes, sir. No, maybe we'll just bring it back for sure. Right. All right. Nice look on the set. Nice little look. You have a firehouse kitchen look. On firehouse kitchen right? Fire Federate cleans his own dish. <laughs> we all do in the fire. Does anybody have any questions while we're not, while we're not uh, you know, doing the hardcore show? Send us a question through firehouse kitchen. Um, at, or at Firehouse Kitchen on Facebook. All right. Okay. All right. So, so ready? I'm just going to be right back. And we are back. Here we are. And what's next, Mr. Angel? All right. So we put together most of our salad. We have the tomatoes. We have the cucumbers, uh, olives, uh, red onions. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add our feta cheese. Right. Get it in there. Nice little amount of feta cheese. Put a little bit extra. Uh, I love feta. Uh, so. That's our base now. So okay. we're gonna put on some parsley. Now we're gonna put that off to the side and we're gonna make our vinaigrette now. Oof. All right. So we took right here, these are two large lemon, squeezed more or less. You got about maybe half a cup in here. So what I like to do, my balancing of it, is I'll do about a two to one ratio, which means two parts olive oil to every one part of lemon juice. So we're gonna put our extra virgin olive oil in, bring it up. There you go, perfect. All right, grab that. Then, we're gonna add some garlic, fresh garlic, throw that in. I love it. Yeah. And while we're mixing this up, another little shout out to the Carlo Foods. They donate all the food that we cook with on Firehouse Kitchen. Thank you so much to Carlo Foods, and they are uh, serving restaurants for, uh, Pissed like lots of years. Lots of years. <laughs> lots <laughs> lots of years. Good. Good Mike Carlo, right. what's up? All right, good. All right, so I have my uh, garlic. Do we put the olives in it? We're not going to put the olives in, but we are going to put fresh oregano. All right, I love right. a lot, uh, lot of recipes for different styles of vinaigrette call for it to be to the dry kind. Mm -hmm. but what, if you got fresh, use, use your fresh, always. You're going to throw that whole in there. Okay. We got. Some pepper, all right, fresh pepper. pepper, fresh pepper, fresh ground pepper, some kosher salt. We're very liberal with that. <laughs> and, and I always throw in just a little bit, a couple of, oh, a couple of red onions in there. 
Okay. All right. Just give it that extra little bit of bitterness slash flavor from the red onion. And what do we call this? This is your? This is a lado lemon oil. A lado lemon oil, that's Greek? It's a Greek, basically a Greek lemon vinegar. Okay. Right. Throw it in there. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. We forgot one little thing, the binder. So what I mean by binder is we have some Dijon mustard. You don't need a lot, a little bit, as you can see right there. We're gonna throw that in. What this does to the vinaigrette, anytime you hear vinaigrette, you have to assume it has uh, a type of Dijon mustard in it because what that does is what the mixtures in it uh, bind together and that little bit of mustard, uh, you see how, how we're sitting here in this? Uh, it's all separated. It's all separated. After we mix it, it's going to bind and it's never going to separate again. Oh, well. Yep. Well, you know, I have a trick I like to drink. It's called a mind eraser. <laughs> <laughs> that is, it's, what is it, Kahlua and vodka? Yes. And, uh, oh, I said, there's, no, what is it? Mind eraser is um, Red Bull, Kahlua, is it, it's something. I know it's Kahlua and vodka and they don't mix and you drink the Kahlua at the bottom and the whole drink tastes like Kahlua and if you drink two of them, you have a mind You're done. Okay, yeah. well then. Right. We're not going to try to mind erase anyone today. So, well, maybe later. Yeah, a little later. Yeah. And you see? And you lose. To find out how you can come on Firehouse Kitchen Live, send me an email at firehousekitchentv.com at gmail.com. Firehousekitchentv at gmail.com. I don't like to waste time. To listen. So there you go. You send us an email. There you go. Send us an email. Like Ray said. All right. There you go. And if you speak Spanish, you can go on. La Casa del Fuego. La Casa del Fuego. In my Antonio Banderas voice. La Casa del Fuego. All right. Let's let's try it out because we always want to taste uh, what we're making. All right. Good to love tequila shots. It's perfect. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Right. Add salt, pepper to taste. If you want it uh, more salty, less salty. I already have oh, feta yeah, in here. Do that. Oh, yeah, that looks really cool. Yeah. Little taste test. You know, snip that. <laughs> wrong, oh, wrong, show. wrong show. Wrong show. Wrong show. That's my advice. Right. We're gonna take a little vinaigrette. Gonna pour it into our salad. Man, my son's like, oh my god. Oh my god. To get a good mix in here. Yes. All right, well, we'll plate this with the steak. We're going to go to a fire fact right now, oh. and we will be right back. All right. All right. So we'll plate this bad boy up. You like my sniffing of the... Yeah, that was a... That's probably bad. It's the wrong show. Wrong yeah, show. Wrong show. Wrong show. Wrong show. It's like more like lock the right. or something. Tom, edit that. All right, make sure you edit that out. <laughs> Too late now. All right. Hey, Barbara and Fire News, how we doing? Make sure everyone gets Fire News. It goes to every fire house. From like Maryland to uh, Maine, and I write an article every month on it. And if you want to see a really good article this month, I actually didn't write it this month. My daughter wrote it. She wrote an essay about yes. Maine. Did, yes. you, did you read it? I did. In the fire yes. department, and you know, it's not me going, "Hey, here I am." It's me. It it, it, was, it really says how how living with a firefighter what it's like, which I think it's excellent. Should. Excellent article. All right, so we plate this up while we're doing this, then we'll sit, and then we'll yep. come back. Yep. All right. All right. Ready now. And? Oh no, we do, we, we, we want to put it on the plate? Oh no, all right, we'll just do it down. Yeah. All right, so we are back. All right, and Angel, let's plate this bad boy. Mm -hmm. But wait, before you, wait, Tom, don't put, don't come back yet, hold on. Let's get forks and knives. All right. So you know it's Spy House Kitchen Live. Raw and uncut. <laughs> all right, we're getting two, don't you want to taste two? Right. I, I know what's that. I already know. I already know it's great. I already know it's great. Just tell me where to pick up the trophy, the cooking trophy for my masterpiece that I made. All right, we are back, and here we go. Firehouse Kitchen Live with Angel Robes. Perfect. 
That's like the thing that's the first time he's actually so said, happy. It, said it actually. I was practicing. I mean, yeah, how long we've known each other? God damn. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, real quick now, what we're going to do is plate. Now, as a chef, um, we are always trained in the old adage, even though they don't say it, uh, firehouse little motto that I, that I learned, I appeal is by appeal. So we're gonna plate our uh, our steak and our salads. Put some chocolate <laughs> syrup around. <laughs> Actually, no. it's not chocolate syrup. Although I'm sorry. Syrup. Okay. Yeah, that's this is my kind of steak. <laughs> steak. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like if, if we didn't want to do like a healthy show, we could do this. Okay. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> anyway, look, balsamic glaze. You can pick it up at uh, any large supermarket, uh, but I like to make it homemade. So it's very simple to make. You get some uh, balsamic vinegar, right? Get some honey, boil the balsamic vinegar, reduce it down about halfway, throw the honey in it, get it to the uh, consistency that you want it, the thickness, and that's it. Let it cool. Salt a little bit if you feel you need some salt, but it really doesn't. That's all you need. Very simple to make. All right, so we're gonna take it. We're gonna do a nice little- Angel thing. was here. <laughs> we're gonna do- La Casa de Fuego? No, a little FH for Firehouse. Oh, okay. Kitchen, boom. Oh, yeah. All right, guess what? So, oh, sure, yeah. Oh, right, look at that. Firehouse kitchen right there. Right up. We don't want to run too much. There you go. There you Beautiful. go. Boom. So, all right, we'll just plate this uh, clean hand. So we put it right on the balsamic vinaigrette. I'm also then going to drizzle a little bit on top of it. A little drizzle on it. There you go. Right here. Big spoon. Angel, what got you into cooking? You know, uh, growing up, I was raised by uh, my mother and my grandmother. I was raised you know, by wolves. I was raised and by they had a kitchen. And they had and they, me. And and they, they, sorry, they, sorry. They, they, they came over from France and they were professionally trained chefs. <laughs> so, uh, growing up, uh, you know, I'm watching my grandmother all the time. Uh, I'm watching my grandmother all the time cook. Uh, my mom was, you know, working three jobs while I was growing up. So, and I always loved my grandmother's food and everything. And then, when my mom was home, she cooked, but she wouldn't cook the traditional Spanish, she'd cook Italian. Because she was really good at cooking Italian food. You know, being Puerto Rican. Uh, because she was a food service manager, uh, mm -hmm. one of her jobs. So I was just like, well, uh, I just was naturally into cooking from that point, because I love to eat also. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, I really became more proficient in it after I left and I joined the Marines because now I'm living on my own and I don't want to eat junk food. I want to stay somewhat healthy, you know, so now I'm cooking on my own, learning recipes, picking up a cookbook, going on YouTube, whatever it is. You know, now we have uh, youcooks.com, yep. right, where you can go in. Oh, man, you, you mentioned you cooks. Yeah. We have youcooks.com where you can log on to you cooks. So then, Marine, so did you learn most of your cooking in the Marines? Uh, actually, it was right towards the end and coming out of the Marines because now when I came out, I was married, had a kid. So guess what? I got, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not spending money I don't have to outside, so I'm buying ingredients, buying this. So I'm always researching new stuff. So Now, being a firefighter, firefighters don't like it when you ask, oh, so where were you not alone? You know, that we explain. Were you, I, I don't know if Marines are the same way, were you over in Iraq at all? Were you, I was twice to Iraq. Twice to right. Iraq, right. And actually, funny, uh, not funny story, but I was in the towers on 9-11. Oh my gosh. Because I worked for the bank at the base of the tower. I was one of those people covered in dust coming across the bridge, mm -hmm. looking back, you know, saying what the hell happened. And that's what motivated me to join the Marines. Wow. Yes. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. That's, that's, yeah. that's some story. So, so uh, I racked twice. Two, I racked twice. Two tours. Two tours to Iraq. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. United States Marine Corps. Right. Hoorah. 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 What's your count on deck? Isn't that one plus nine? One plus nine. All right, here we go. Good, awesome. All right, now, Angel, we have a wine that we can pair with this. Yes. All yes. right. We have smoke eater wine. Okay. Oh. Now, what's nice about smoke eater wine is this 
It has a helmet besides that. And that's better than that. It's actually a pinotage. A pinotage is actually the Pinot Noir of South Africa. Right. Okay? And every uh, every bottle sold, a portion goes to fire department charities. Uh, the Ray Pfeiffer Fund, Fire Up for a Cure, um, National Full of Firefighters. We work with a lot of charities on Firehouse Kitchen, mm -hmm. and that's one of the main reasons why I started the show Firehouse Kitchen, right. was to get awareness out of chat, fire department charities, safety tips, and fire facts. And then the cooking is just, you know, and firefighter life, just the cooking is just a little part of it. So you being the chef and me being a great eater, perfect. <laughs> All right. So Firehouse Kitchen, smoking wine, make sure you guys look at your local liquor store. You can't, it, can't it's a it's Can't a miss it. Can't, can't miss it. Smoke it. And what a smoke eater is, that's what they call us fire Yes. All right, so, we a little Pinot Touch. Yeah, so and I say that in my Spanish accent with my South African Pinot Touch. Pinot Touch. Uh, oh, I like that. Pinot Touch. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do the, I don't want to do the, 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 the really, here we go. So there one. Yeah. There we go. All right, here we go. I am eating with Angel Robles. Right. Our Pinot Touch was too little. Mm, that's good. Mm. Very, very nice. All right, and it is very good to pair with a steak. And I'm going to remove all this stuff out of the way. So you guys can see. Now I'm going to hold this up. Holy cow. Look at what I'm about to eat at, what was it, 10 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> yep. Good. This, why is Sensei Race so fit? Why is Five Fighter Race so fit? My house kitchen. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm going to try the steak first. Get in there. Oh, it is perfectly cooked. Look at that. Nice Pink in the middle. Yep. Me a little bacon with oh, it. Oh my God, that's the bacon. Let me pull that toothpick out. There we go. All right, the bacon out the got a little bit of balsami. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Are you kidding me? Just look, I'm doing my keto right now. So yeah. <laughs> so keto diet right now. Yes, I'm taking another bite. Oh. Nice. Oh my God. Awesome. All right. Mm. How did you do on the Tato Top Show? What's that? How did you do on the Tato Top Show? I came in eighth. Yeah. Eighth? Eighth. Are you kidding me? Yeah. A lot of guys at the firehouse bust my, you know, you might bust my you know what, you know. They're like, well, you came in eight out of eight? <laughs> well, you know what, if you got seven, that's what I was giving this meal, seven. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm joking. It's delicious. Mmm. I'm a Mediterranean child. Off the hook. Mm. Angel, thank you so much. Yeah. My pleasure. Now remember, like this show, like Casa del Fuego. Yep. Go and look. We're going to have websites up. It's going to be going. Look at your local Spanish station and it's Firehouse Kitchen, all in Spanish. La Casa del Fuego. Oh. To find out more about Firehouse Kitchen, go to Firehouse Kitchen Show. Dot com spit out this delicious food. Um, if you want to send me an email, come on, Firehouse Kitchen. Go to Firehouse Kitchen TV at gmail.com. Send me an email, okay? Read my articles in Fire News. And make sure you watch Firehouse Kitchen Live every Tuesday at 9 30. It's the raw show. Yep. And then it'll be up at, at uh, 6 o'clock with it edited and our openings and everything. Excellent. It's really, really cool. Excellent. So that's it. Are you ready, Angel? I'm ready. And we will see you next time on. Firehouse Kitchen Live. He was gonna say like he was gonna oh, say La Casa del Fuego. I confused him. But he'll say one with that. We'll see you next time on La Casa del Fuego. No, no, no. We'll say Firehouse. Oh okay, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> no, you're gonna say. Okay, you're ready to say? Right. So Firehouse Kitchen Live. All right, like that. Okay, ready? So we'll see you next time on Firehouse Kitchen Live. All right.